Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dallas here, and today we're back for another Juice World Pixel Art tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and continue where we left off in the last one. Like I said, I'm trying to get as many of these out today as possible, so that way you guys can uh, continue with these and not have to keep on waiting every day for me to release two. Um, but sometimes I do get a bit busy, so that's why I may miss out every once in a while on uploading or something like that. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is go one, two, like this right here next to the purple terracotta with magenta terracotta, uh, terracotta, yeah. And then we're gonna go with our purple terracotta one right there, and then magenta terracotta on top. And then what we need to do is grab us a purpler block. I think the closest one may be over here. And then we're going to place that diagonal from right next to magenta block and diagonal from the purple terracotta. And then we're going to place us pink concrete underneath the purple and to the right of it. Then we're going to place us some netherrack right here. And then we'll grab us some red terracotta. I want to get one, two, three, one, one, two. Next thing you do, grab purple terracotta, and you want to go, let me just make sure I did, okay, I did click record button, okay, we good. Uh, one, two, three, two, okay, one, two, three, four, like this. Okay, and then next thing you want to do is place a purple block right next to it. We're also going to need to grab us the pillar, so I'm going to go over here and grab this. I don't know which block to get rid of. Let's try pink wool. Hopefully, we won't need it. I'm going to make it diagonal from the purple block we just placed. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to on top of the purple block, or up three with our purple terracotta. So, one, two, three. Then, we're going to go two on the right side, one, two, and two on the left side, one, two up one on both ends and then in the middle we're gonna go one two netherrack and then we're gonna go and grab us uh, some soul sand and place soul sand on the left side like this okay next thing you want to do is simply take you some magenta terracotta one on top of the purple block down here and then you want to go one two three like this and then one two Next thing we're gonna do is take us purple terracotta and we'll go one, two, three, and we just use magenta right there. <clears throat> Next thing we're gonna do is take take us some netherrack and we're gonna go one, one, two, and then we're gonna go one again. Here we're gonna need us some polished granite, so I'm gonna grab some from right over here, and we're gonna place it right in between this little gap, and then right next to netherrack up here. All right, we're going to go back over here, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in these gaps before I forget. First thing we're going to need is netherrack on top of the purple pillar. Next thing we're going to need is white terracotta. And there's some directly up here. All right. So now what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, where can we go? All right, let's go back down here with our purple terracotta. I want to go one, two, three, like this. Then we go one, two, one on the left side, and then magenta right in between there. So it goes one, two, magenta, and then one. And that's purple terracotta that we're using right here. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Go over back one. I'm gonna go one. Okay. Next thing you wanna do is take us our magenta terracotta. On this side, we're gonna go one, two, three, like that. Then we're gonna go one, two, three. Then we're gonna go one, two, three. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is go one two and then go one two 
one, two. Next thing we're gonna do is take our purple terracotta right here. I'm gonna get one, two, three, four. Next thing we're gonna do is take our purple pillar. I'm gonna go one. And then we're gonna take our purple block here. And then we're gonna go. Oops, almost fell all the way down. One, two. And we're gonna grab us our granite, our polished granite over here. Place one to the right of the two. And then place one on top of it. And then we're gonna go one, two, one, two. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do, let's see here, is we can either start to, we can do multiple things here, we can continue over this way, kind of fill in this cap to keep it up with us, or we can continue kind of filling this in. It's kind of a difficult choice here. Okay, I think we're going to come over here real quick. I think I know what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. I'm going to start to fill this in just a little bit. We're going to take our pink terracotta right here. And we're going to go one, two. Then we're going to go across over here. And then we go one, two, three. And then one. Then we're going to take our magenta terracotta right here. And place that in between there. We're going to take our red terracotta. One, two, three. I'm going to take our magenta terracotta right here and place one. Take our polished granite, go one, two, and then place a little three right there. And then place right next to that three pink terracotta like that. Okay? And there's a reason why I'm kind of avoiding that area a bit. And we'll get over to it probably in the next video. Okay, so something I'm going to go ahead and grab ahead of time. I guess actually we could go ahead and start working on it. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's head over here and let's start working on this because we it's best to go ahead and get it out of the way instead of trying to avoid it the entire time. And just a heads up, we're gonna have to go into our inventory our creative menu like a lot during this. So let's place our polished granite to the right of this. Then let's grab us some brown terracotta. And place that da upright diagonal from it. Then we're gonna grab us uh, some black glazed terracotta, place that on top of it, and grab us uh, some soul sand to place on top of that. And place soul sand over here and black glazed terracotta as well, right here in that little gap that we left open. Then we're gonna take our brown terracotta and place that again on top of the soul sand. And then on top of that, we're gonna take our purple terracotta and place that there next thing we need to do is grab us some white terracotta and we can simply just go over here and grab that and we're going to go one two like that with it then we're going to go on the right side of the two place our polished granite right here and place another one diagonal from it Next thing we need to do is go over here and grab our nether quartz ore. And we're going to place that to the right of the polished grant we placed right here. Then we're also going to grab us our birch, uh, birch wood log. And so that way we can place that to the right of the nether quartz, nether quartz ore. Kind of make a mess here. There we go. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is grab us some iron ore here. And we're also, while we're over here, going to grab us the redstone ore as well. And we're just going to kind of try to hold on to redstone because we're going to need it in a bit. And the iron ore, we're going to place one, two on top of the nether quartz. And then we place one top right diagonal from the birch wood log. Alright, next thing we're going to do is place this polished granite on top of the nether quartz, nether quartz ore. And then we're going to place us a birch wood log 
on top of the polished granite. Okay, so after that, what we're gonna do? We're gonna need quartz and a bone block. So let's see here. Here's bone and quartz is right over here. Okay, so how we're gonna do this is the bone will go on top of the white terracotta to the left, right next to the black glazed terracotta, and the quartz will go down below, right here. Wait, right, not right here. Right there. And now we just need to grab us some pink glazed terracotta right over here on the side and place that next to the quartz block then we take our bone block and place it on top of this polished granite over here and take our white terracotta again and we're going to go one two three Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is go over here, grab us some pink concrete powder, and place it in between the iron and the on top of the bone block. Next thing we're going to need is light gray concrete powder. The best spot to find it is up here where I said there's a lot of detail at. And bring that over into this point. And these are one of those detailed parts that take a lot longer than they should. We'll place that on top of the white terracotta. And we'll place pink glazed terracotta next to soul sand. And take our pink concrete powder and place that on top of the gray, light gray concrete powder. And take us some magenta terracotta now. And place it diagonal from the purple terracotta. And what we're going to do is on top of the concrete powder and the magenta terracotta, place two white quartz blocks. And then we're going to need to grab us chiseled quartz and then white wool. Okay, so place this right here next to concrete powder place white wool right there okay so the next thing we do is take our polished granite and place it to the right of the white wool and then we're going to grab our white terracotta and we're going to place white terracotta underneath the polished granite Alright, so hopefully I've explained everything pretty good. Is this part's pretty difficult because it I mean it's a big it's kind of a it's a small chunk here, but it still is quite complicated and stuff. Um on top of the iron ore we're gonna place our light grey concrete powder and then we're gonna grab us quartz and chisel quartz we're gonna go on top of a birch wood log and place quartz and chisel quartz then we're gonna place uh, some pink concrete powder on top of the chisel quartz next thing we're gonna do is take our bone blocks and we're gonna go one two right next to the birch wood log and on top of the polished granite with bone blocks and then we're going to go one on top of the birch wood log one on top of the concrete powder then we're going to place white terracotta in between there on one on top of the bone block and place bone block on top of the white terracotta so it looks like this and then we're going to place one white terracotta to the left of it you're also going to place some white terracotta over here on top of the quartz block all right and the next thing we'll do is go over here and we'll place us another birch wood log all 
Alright, so as you can tell, it's kind of like, you know, it's quite difficult to kind of put together and stuff. So, now that we've got it that far, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and start to kind of fill in the side over here. Okay, so let me go down here and we'll grab us some netherrack. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up this little ledge up here, and then go on over, and then go and just build directly across there. Build right here as well. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go build up, over, up, over, and just kind of do it like this. I was just outlining the area that we need to basically build in. Alright, so now what we're going to do is go from this white terracotta right here, we're going to go one, two, and then we're going to go one, two. Okay, and then we're going to go one, two, like this go down right here to go down one and go one then one up again then over one again then we're gonna go down to one two and go one two three then I want to go one I should Do I mess up here? I feel like I messed up. Let me double check. Okay, okay, so I didn't mess up here. We go one. Like that. Did I mess up? Right, let me double check. I think I might have messed up. Okay, so. This area is hard because it's all netherrack and it's like, it's pretty hard to check if you messed up. Okay, so we're going to go over here and place one, two right there. And that's, that's why I didn't do. And that's why it got me confused. Because basically, this must be like this kind of shape. And it was really confusing why it wasn't. So we're going to go one, two. One, two, three. Okay, and now all we have to do is kind of fill in down here with all this with another egg. And there's not much as much detail around this area, so we can just kind of fill this in. These are the more easier parts. So, there we go. Alright. So one of the things we need to do is go over here and grab us the brown terracotta again because we need that soon. And we're also going to need to grab us some soul sand as well. We're probably even going to need us uh, some black glazed terracotta. Okay, and then another thing we're going to need is a note block All right so in between this little um gap right here we're gonna go one two three at the bottom brown's hair cut out in the far left and go one two again then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go five which should be to the very end over here one two three four five okay then we're gonna go over to this little gap right here I'm gonna go three with note blocks so one two and then three. And then down bottom left diagonal, we're gonna place soul sand. Then to the left, we're gonna place brown terracotta. Then we're gonna go all the way across here with soul sand. And then what we're gonna do is take us a note block and go right there. what we 
do is take our soul sand and go all the way over on top of the netherrack. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two. I'm going to take our black glaze here, got it, and we're going to go one. And go one, two from our black terracotta. And then what we're gonna do is take our some netherrack and place it right next to the brown glaze or the brown terracotta. Take and place us black glaze terracotta on top of the netherrack. And next to it, we're gonna go one, two again with soul sand one, two. Underneath the second block, you're gonna place another note block. And then you wanna take some uh, brown terracotta on top of the soul sand, one, two, and to the left of the soul sand, one, two. On top of the far left block, you wanna place a note block again. Now, on top of the brown terracotta right here, you want to the far right, you wanna place redstone ore. Then you want to place one, two, black glazed terracotta. Next thing you want to do is down, down diagonal right from nope from the redstone. You want to place um, another note block, and then you want to place brown terracotta again to the right of the black glazed terracotta. Next thing you want to do is go one, two, three with your soul sand right here. You can go up one, then place a note block to the right. Next thing you want to do is go one, two, three like this. And on the third block to the far right, you want to place another redstone ore. And on top of it, you want to go four with soul sand. So one, two, three, four like this. And take black glaze terracotta and you want to go one, two, three, four, and go down one like that. Next thing you want to do is place soul sand on top of the note block right there, and place brown terracotta on top of it. Next thing you want to do is place brown terracotta underneath the note block, one, two, like this. And to the right of it, you want to place three. One, two, three. And then you want to go one, two, one. And you want to place brown terracotta. And then brown terracotta again. And then take our black terracotta, our black glazed terracotta, and place it in between those two gaps right there. All right. Next thing you want to do is you want to go up five with um, soul sand. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. We just double count one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is just fill in this little layer right here with black glazed terracotta from the soul sand. Then you want to go one, two, three. Then one, two. All right. Next thing you want to do is grab you some glazed ter or um not glazed, uh gray terracotta. Okay, so you want to go one, two, three, and then make it diagonal. And then make another diagonal piece right there. Now you gotta be really careful because the gray and the brown terracotta look really similar. I mean, to me, they look really close. Just 
one shade off so you gotta be really careful though when going to use it okay so now we need to place a piece of brown terracotta okay well actually it's already there never mind um what we're gonna do is place black glazed terracotta and we're gonna go one two three four just to make sure that that is the right distance away and then we're gonna place a little piece right down here all right and this is what we got done and it's all coming together exactly how it should we're doing this part first and it all makes sense because um this part links up to this part and you can use the part that we're working on right now to measure the exact placement for the blocks and actually what we have done so far um yeah what we have done so far we can go ahead and work on the next part so let me see here I think what we can do is up to okay so right here we're replacing the purple terracotta it's really simple all we got to do is diagonal from it. the last place we placed it we're going to go up one above the soul sand and that's why we went ahead and did this so the soul sand would be there and then what we want to do is go and take our redstone ore and we go up three from here so one two three from the soul sand and go over and place it right here and uh, a better way you just measure it is just by looking at the block the gray terracotta over here Okay, so the next thing we need is prob um yeah we need another brick um block right here. I wanna go one two like this. I want to go over here and make it diagonal from the redstone. Oops. So one two like that. And then I don't really want to get up too far up into this part yet so I'm trying to find a good way to to do this right here okay so the first thing we're going to do is kind of fill in this little gap right here we're going to go one two three one two and then place us our brown terracotta right here Okay, well, and we'll go all the way over to, okay, we'll go right here, one past the brown terracotta right here, and fill this all the way in, like this. Okay, so the next thing to do is we'll place soul sand right in between there. And then right on top of here, right before the soul sand, we're going to go one two and then another brick block and then we're going to go one two three four all right and it should end up looking like this okay so yeah I think that's what we're all going to do for this video I think we're going to work more on this part and right here again um next video like I said this part is similar to this one it may take a while so yeah but I hope you guys have enjoyed so far um yeah let me know what you think down in comments and make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a juice world pixel art tutorial all right and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video bye